The Biblical Truth of Our Hymn, number 76. He Must Be Born Again, by William True Sleeper. All right, Biblical Truth of Our Hymn. That has been the, the title and the subject of this study of our hymns from the very first hymn. We're at 76. Now let's quote the Bible. King James Bible. John 3.3 3. Jesus answered said unto him, Verily, verily, King James, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Okay, correct. That's the King James Bible. It's correct. For all of us King James Bible believing people out there. Alright, let me read you the story of ye must be born again. And see what you're singing if you realize what you're singing. Hymn book is not, is not the Bible. We're going to prove that right now. This hymn was written while Stevens, George C. Stevens, the music, was helping Dr. George Pentecost in evangelistic meetings in Worcester, Massachusetts. During those meetings, one of the subjects preached upon was the new birth. While presenting the truth, Enforcing it by referring to the various passages of Scripture, Dr. Pentecost quoted from our Lord's words to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you must be born again. It occurred to me that by taking the line, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, the Bible, from the third verse, John 3, 3, and putting it with the line, ye must be born again. And by transferring the word I from the middle of the first line to the beginning, so I would have, I verily, verily say unto thee, you must be born again. Those passages would fall into rhythmic, rhythmic form. And by use some repetitions, you say it over and over and over. Isn't that what contemporary music does today? And as some suitable verse could be found, I spoke to Reverend William True Sleeper, one of the pastors of the city who sometimes wrote him of my impressions, and asked him if he would write and write me some very from some verses on the subject. He acted at once at my suggestion, and soon he came up to me with the hymn before the meeting closed. A musical setting was made. Now, I like the song. I didn't realize. I didn't realize what I was singing. Are we going to say that the Bible's correct, the King James Bible? Are we going to say that's correct? Are we going to lift up a poem? Is it, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my hymnal shall never pass away? Is that what the Bible says? I don't think so. It says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Now let me read to you, back and forth, let me read to you the chorus line of, Ye must be born again. I verily, verily say unto thee, Ye must be born again. That's to him. John 3, 3 says, Jesus answers him very, very, I say unto thee, he says, I very, very say unto thee, except the man be born again, he can. What has Sleeper done? Do we not discredit modern Bibles when they correct the, the Bible? Do we not say that modern Bibles that removed Jesus? Whoa. That tampered with the blood? Whoa. That the Ethiopic the Ethiopian eunuch did not call upon Jesus, but he was just suddenly baptized. Did we not say, whoa? Should we not say, whoa, when ye must be born again, when the scripture has been tampered with as much as a modern Bible? And I like this song. 
And all the times I sang this song, I didn't realize when I came to the chorus, there are three stanzas in this in this hymn. I would sing, I barely say I keep. I would misquote the Bible three times. And I tell you right now, before the Lord Jesus Christ, 1 John 1, 9, I confess my sins of misrepresenting the Bible by this hymn. And the fact is that the hymn has been changed to scriptures, John 3, 3. In case you didn't get it, we'll read it again. And Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee. He says, I verily, verily say unto thee. Well, you know, for a, throw in the garbage. Don't you dare change the Bible so you can make a song. And then you go around, oh, the contemporary Christian music, the contemporary Christian music. Oh, a hymnal that is in, a hymnal that contains a hymn that changes the scriptures. And when you, okay, you see, uh, you you do whatever you want to do. I'll tell you what my conviction is. When I sing or had sung, I verily, verily say unto thee, I am changing the word of God to King James Bible when I do that. And if I were to get in your pulpit, in your King James Bible believing church, I get in your pulpit, and if I were to say, okay, everybody open your Bibles. Come on, open your Bibles to John chapter 3. Okay, everyone there? If I were to go, Jesus answered, said unto them, I verily, verily say unto thee, except to me. You, heads would start popping up. You get that crooked dog. Thing. Well, he didn't say it right. Wouldn't you? Listen, I have accidentally mis misread a word in the Bible. I have accidentally read the wrong verse. I have accidentally been in the wrong book. And I see your face like, and then you know what, you're up there, you're pretty, uh oh, and I do wrong. I'm, listen, I've been in jail ministries, I've been home ministry, I've been street preaching, I, I have Sunday school, I, 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 I taught, you know, out of the pulpit of churches. And when you accidentally make a mistake of the scriptures, and then you look at the people, uh oh. Well, what about when the song leader said, okay, we're going to sing, ye must be born again. And we come to the, to the, <coughs> the, re <coughs> excuse me, the refrain or the chorus. I verily, verily say it, that is not the scripture. I'm ready to tell you, I hope I can remember. I personally am not going to sing this hymn anymore. Because it changes, does it not change the Bible? Read to John 3, 3 and read the chorus. I, verily, verily. When Jesus said, verily, verily, I. So we can make a hymn. Throw your hymn in the garbage and let's do the Bible correctly. All right? So we can change the Bible so we can suit our needs. That is the whole modern Bible movement. So if you want to keep this song, okay, fine. You want to sing this hymn, go ahead. I think you're going to stand before God with hay and stubble. I think you're going to need to repent. All right, so let's look at it. I blew this, this out of the water. A ruler once came to Jesus by night. A Pharisee. There was a man of the Pharisees, Nicodemus, ruler of the Jews. All right, he... Ruler, but you're nitpicking. Okay, I'm nitpicking. To ask him the way of salvation and life. And then three, two, and there came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know thou art a teacher come from God. No man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. And Jesus answers him, Verily, verily, I say. On to thee. Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus did not ask Jesus about salvation and life. Nicodemus came to Jesus. Jesus, we know who you are. And Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus, a nice howdy do. 
and the handshake said, very well, except the man be born again, he cannot, enter the kingdom, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he's old and enter the second time his mother's womb and be born? That's not about salvation and light. Hi, Jesus, how you doing? Hey, you must be born again. I can go back to my mother's womb. Where's the salvation in life? And the master made answer in the words true and plain. He must be born again. Uh, let's read. Jesus answered him, Very clearly, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 7, he says, Marvel not that I say unto you, ye must be born again. We have changed the scripture. And we'll look at the refrain afterwards. Ye children of men, attend to the word, capital W, which he has corrected. He has corrected the word of God, but attained it. Listen, if we sing stanza one, and then we go, he must be born again. He must be born again. I verily, verily say, you change the scripture, and now stands in the children of men, attend to the word. Which one? The word according to sleeper or the word according to King James? Which one? You've already set me forth in confusion. That's not a good foundation to be singing in churches. So solemnly uttered by Jesus the Lord. You change what Jesus said. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, red letter, you've got a red letter Bible. He says, I verily, verily say unto you, that's an unread letter version of the Bible. So he dares say, attend to the word, and what was uttered by Jesus, and he utterly changed the word of God. I think you need to repent. I think soul leaders need to repent. And I think this needs to be personally, out of my personal testimony and my personal uh, uh, thing to this, I think it needs to be ripped out of the, song, the hymn book. I wouldn't rip it out because the next song be on, on this one is a great song. I put a big red X. I get a, I get a gallon of white, white out and white out this page from my personal opinion. Hey, when I was setting forth a church and if the Lord will give me a church, and I worked on it a while, but I was working on my own my own hymnal. And taking the hymns that, I, that are approved of the Bible and God and throwing out those that, were, that are not. And if I were to come up with a church and the Lord would give me the ability to make a hymnal for that church, this would not be in it. Hey, Go ahead and compromise. I'm not going to. I've done enough compromising in my Christian life that I'm going to have to answer, answer to God. You got to do loads of compromising to allow to, to see in church age. And I'm sick that I have to. And let not this message to you be in vain. All right. Yeah, you must be born again. But man, when you change the scriptures, Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Do you think the RSV is going to be in heaven? Do you think the living Bible is going to be in heaven? Do you think the new King James Bible is going to be in heaven? Do you think that there's going to be a, up there? Do you think there's, <coughs> excuse me, how would you, do you think there's going to be a hymnal in heaven? Which one? There are so many different hymnals. And then some of the good songs that we have in our hymnals, even they have been changed in the modern hymnal. And as this study is 76 hymns that we've done so far, have we not done good hymns? And to find out that, you know, well, stanza four is, is you know, not in, but there were six stanzas. And this line used to say this, but now it says this. People. The biblical truth of our hymns is the stated fact that 
the hymnal is not inspired by the Holy Spirit. The Bible is. And there are many errors in the hymnal. The streets, plural, of gold. No, there's one street. The angels that sang, they're not singing. The angels that sang to the shepherds at Jesus' birth. No, the Bible says they said, We three kings. No, there were no three kings. There were three Magi. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. How you worship Bethlehem, not Jesus. It was a silent night. How do you know it was a silent night? All the nation of the people of Israel were called to their hometown by the Roman government. I don't think it was quiet. And I don't think it was quiet to hear a woman giving birth to a baby. Now, Mary gave birth to Jesus as a virgin mother. I would seem to think that she had the birth pangs, because birth pangs are in the Bible. Now, shut up, Mary. Be quiet, because we're going to write Silent Night. No screaming, giving birth to Jesus. And Jesus, when we slap your little behind, don't start crying, because it's, it's a silent night. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? I hope it does. And many Christians think, you know, Sally's a fruitcake. Okay, I'm a fruitcake. You know why I'm a fruitcake? Because someone planted a seed in my heart in the gospel. I became a tree in the gospel. And I plant other fruit and other seeds. All right, where were we? Oh, ye. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh, ye. Who would enter that glorious rep and sing with the ransom the song of the blessed. They're going to sing this one. My opinion. The life everlasting, if he would obtain, he must be born again. Well, let me ask you something. So, you know, Stalin, okay. You found two things wrong. He didn't come looking for salvation. He didn't come looking for light. And he changed, I verily, verily, when the Bible says verily, verily, I say, okay, what's the big deal? All right, I want you to go out. I want you to go to your kitchen. And get yourself a glass. Alright. Or a cup. I want to get you I want you to get your favorite uh, drink. If it's coffee, get a coffee mug. If it's soda, which would be my favorite. I get a glass, water, milk, juice, iced tea, maybe tea. Get your favorite drink. Alright. Now I don't want you to flush your toilet for the whole day. On a day that everybody's home, they don't go to work, you know, everybody's home, nothing goes. I don't want you to flush your toilet. And then I want you to dip that, that cup, that glass, whatever, inside that toilet bowl. No, no, no. How about just a a thimble amount of that toilet water and put in your drink. How about taking a whole gallon of milk and just take a thimble amount of sewer water and just put it in there and you know put the cap on and shake it a little bit. Would you drink it? How about if you had a glass of water and you put a tablespoon of rat poison in there and you shake it all about? It's only a tablespoon. Or let's get biblical. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. Let's get serious. Are we not going to accept the King James as the Word of God? I do. Yeah, men wrote it, but inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I believe the King James Bible and the predecessor predecessor of the Geneva Bible. I believe that that Bible family, that Bible tree came from heaven off the throne of God, and God used men to write it. When the Holy Spirit said, David, write this, I believe it came from the throne of God. Because when you get the red letter, if you got a red letter Bible of Jesus, what he said, the red letter version, nothing wrong with them. I had to do my own marking of whatever Jesus said. I marked my own Bible because it didn't have the red letter. But do you realize 
Every red letter that Jesus spoke came from God. All right, let's come back over here again. Now, what I'm using here on the screen is I'm using Sword Searcher 6.0. This is an excellent, excellent Bible use tool. It's got so many commentary. It's got so many books and dishes in there, and it just does so much as a computer uh, uh, concordance and re resource library. Now, I got it set here for it to be red letter. So I'm going to read to you John 3.3. 3. In black letters, Jesus answered said unto him, red letter. So this is what Jesus said. Verily, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. End of red letter. It says, Nicodemus said, dot, dot, dot. So verily, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That is the word of Jesus. Now, is Jesus God? Yes, he is. Is that not the word of God? Yes, it is. Did he not say attend to the word, capital W, stanza 2? Yes, he did. So let's look at what he wrote. And I cannot say it's red letter. <coughs> I verily, verily say unto thee, you must be born again. That is not the red lettering of the King James Bible. And I'm going to do a little search right here, right now. I'm going to check something. I didn't do it before, but give me a moment. Give me a moment here. I want to check something. All right. Let me check something. I may be wrong in this one, but let me check. Barely, barely. All right, let's see what this one is. The complete Jewish Bible says... I tell you, unless a person, all right, so the contemporary English version says, I tell you, uh-oh, I didn't, this is the first time I'm doing this search right now, I'm telling you. The ERV, uh, easy to read, says, I assure you, I first. So this is a modern Bible. Uh, looking up anymore. EXP. Oh, that wouldn't be it. The good news is this the good news? Good news translations. Oh, I'm looking this up. The good news, where is it? I am telling you the truth. ICB International Children's Bible says, I tell you the truth. Look at these Bibles that put I and didn't have the verily, verily. That's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm looking up. First time. King James Bible, very glad to say unto you. Some say truly, truly. Truly, truly, verily, verily. What's this one? The Names of God Bible. I never heard that one. Names of God Bible. I can guarantee. Some put Amen, Amen. NCV is New Century Version. And that was I Tell You True. NET, I Tell You. Okay, that one, very, 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 most accurate. New Living Translation, I tell you the truth. Most of them say truly, truly, verily, maybe one verily. Some say amen, amen. I'm going through the modern Bibles right now. So please, I did not, I'm doing this right now for the first time. And the last one would be Worldwide English Bible, I Tell You the Truth. So I just told you, I gotta find where we're, okay, there it is. I just told you, modern Bibles say I first. When the King James Bible says verily, verily. So let, let me tell you something. Now you just, you've been saying, Stolly, you're full of it. Uh, uh, well, it, it's just a beautiful hymn. 
I just read to you modern Bibles that has backed up sleeper. The devil entered into sleeper that have, hey, just change the words around a little bit. Some idiot in 2020 on March 17, he'll bring it up, but think about this was done in 1877. So, so let's see some. 2020, okay. 18, I don't know if anybody else has seen this, but. See something. 143 years later, some idiot's gonna say, Oh, you're wrong. But we can do 143 years of damage. If I'm the first one to see that that's not the King James Bible. That's a modern Bible. Would you read a modern Bible as your Bible and study it? I hope not. Now, I'm talking to King James Bible believers only. Would you? Why would you sing a hymn that does not match our Bible we profess to be the Word of God? And he says, oh, children, men, tend to my word. The word I read to you is even out of the modern Bible. This has been all my opinion. I'm not going to force you to do anything. you got a free will. My free will says... Lord Jesus, I, I, I repent of singing this sin, song. I, I repent of liking this song. And Lord God, forgive me that I have sinned against the King James Bible. I have sinned against Jesus Christ, the Word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. I, I seek your repentance and the blood to wash me. Amen. That's how serious I am about this.